Hey everyone, J Row Lights here, and I got a good one for you today. We got in the 2024 Zippo Collectible of the Year, and it is celebrating Zippo and their 50th anniversary of Venetian designs. So it's going to be a good review. Be sure to like and subscribe. Every little bit helps out the channel, and I greatly appreciate your support. Welcome to J Row Lights. Before we dive into the 2024 Collectible of the Year, I want to give a huge shout out to my good friend Chuck Riley at Riley66. He hooked me up with this Zippo, and unfortunately, he's already sold out of the 2024 Collectibles of the Year. However, I still want you to go on to Riley66.com. He has some great designs on there. He just came out with a really cool 540 last week of all of his stickers on that 540 Zippo. It looks really, really cool. I hope to add one to my collection in the near future. Uh, so go on, check him out, Riley66.com. He has some great service. He always throws in these cool stickers and swag at Riley66.com. So now, let's get into the 2024 Collectible of the Year, and it is the Venetian Design. This isn't it. This is a, just a classic Venetian, but just to show you what it should resemble, right? What that 2024 Collectible of the Year should kind of look like. And this is just a classic Venetian, double-sided. Uh, back in the day, a lot of people got their initials engraved on these. It's a very common design. You can get some cool Venetians on eBay, like from Widowmakers. He has some colorful Venetian designs on there. Very common design, and I'm sure if you collect Venetians or have a lot of Venetians, this 2024 Collectible of the Year hopefully will complement that theme. Here we go. We got a classic sleeve. You know, the sleeves aren't really that decorative, which is fine. They've been doing these sleeves since 2013 when they came back out with the Collectible of the Year. This box top looks pretty slick. I assume... The theme for this Zippo is going to be black, just because it's on a black max. I mean, you can see it shine in the light, so it's a pretty slick looking top box. Here on the back, I ain't going to read that, so if y'all want to read it, go ahead and pause it. I do want to point out some significant dates, though, in here that I see. We have 1974, uh, which is the 50th anniversary of the Florentine or Venetian pattern design, 1984 is when that black mat debuted. So it's the 40th anniversary for the black mat. And then in 2004, they introduced the first deep carve design. So, and that's the 20th anniversary. So there's several design features that are significant when it comes to this Zippo. So let's go ahead and open it up. Have the protective cover and look at that. Here's a nice looking card. Once again, it's black. It really it kind of matches the box top here. Shines nicely. And it's just authenticating that it's one of 5,000 pieces. And it is the American region Zippo. They do have the Asian edition and the European edition. I'm not going to put in the effort to get those. They're pretty much basically the same Zippo with different inserts. So not, I'm not going after those per se. You have your Zippo guarantee and your 2024 collectible of the year. First looks, I think it's a pretty slick design. You got the brass laser engraved, the black mat. Let's take it out and look at it. Here's that orange sticker. Thankfully, they don't put it on the back of these designs, but you still want to take it out of this case here because if you display your Zippo in it, it will still, you can still see remnants of that sticker on the back after a while. All right, so we got our Zippo. Let's kind of take it side by side with the classic Venetian. And you can see you have that Venetian design looks very similar. I, I think they the concept of this Zippo, I think is pretty good. You got several key anniversaries 
mixed into the design process of this. So the concept's there. I do like the concept. For collectible of the year. Now, as far as price-wise goes, let's see. Well, the first, this one's sixteen fifty-three out of five thousand. Price-wise goes, you can get this on Zippo.com for one hundred fifty dollars, or you can get it on eBay or for one hundred and twenty-seven dollars and fifty cents. Now, as far as comparing it to other collectibles of the year, the twenty twenty-three collectible of the year. Was a 120 retail, and you could buy it for 106 dollars. So there's about a 20 20 dollar difference. I think that's still in the same realm for what collectible of the year sell for. So price wise, it's yeah, I, I think it's fine. It's expensive, yes, but compared to other collectible of the years, it's in that range. Uh, I didn't point out the box. I do love the box style, how they show off the insert. You can see how the insert has that Venetian design as well. They started that last year with the 2023 Collectible of the Year. So, cool insert. Uh, you got the bottom stamp with the armor, the limited stamp as well. This is the first black matte armor that I've ever seen. I, I do think this does hit some of those boxes for it to become a collectible of the year. There's some significant dates tied in there. It is a nice concept. Now, I do know a lot of folks were probably wanting like an 80th anniversary D-Day to be a collectible of the year. Or, you know, there, there were some other possible designs that could have been a collectible of the year. But I think for the most part, this one hits, nails it. I think this one is a really nice, slick looking Zippo. Now, does it crack my top 10 list of collectible of the years? I don't know. It might be, it may be close. I think the concept's great. As far as the design, I think it looks slick. Uh, but I do think that there's been better collectible of the years. But now it's up to the court of public opinion. I want to know your comments. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think of this 2024 collectible of the year? Is it worthy enough to have the title of 2024 collectible of the year? I think it is. I, I like the concept. I like the design. But I want to know what your thoughts are. So let me know in the comments below. This is J. Lights. We'll see you on the next one.